How? I'm sure that Buddy has grown to just hate being fed. I don't know. I'm not sure. At this point, I don't care. Here's Bud. Hi, I'm still here. Right? I'm still here. Oh, and I'm so glad he is. He's got seven more days on steroids, antibiotics. So he's not breathing weird anymore. He does if he overexerts himself. You know, like if somebody knocks on the door, of course he freaks out and runs. And then he's like... <laughs> so I try to keep tabs if I see anybody. Or like my son comes home at 3.15, I will start holding him so that he doesn't overexert himself. Oh, Peaky. What was that all about? It's probably you stuffing food in my face. That's what that's about. I'm trying to kind of like figure out what is enough for each sitting. And now I'm also trying to, um, let me see if I can reach you. <laughs> Bring you closer to us. Like, what is too much food to be feeding him? And, uh, you know, too much, not enough kind of thing. I'm sure he hates this, but. So this has been working out a little better. And I put, I put his pills in the food today because I really, really, really hate stuffing the pills down his throat. It seems so aggressive. So... I have all his pills and the powder right here. And you know, he's going to try to spit them out anyway because that's just how he does. Here comes the choo choo. The other day, I tried a different food. It was a, it was a healthy dog food for like sick pets, but it was so brown that. Uh, it looked like he pooped his face, and then he needed a bath. It was terrible. I mean, he looked, it was, it was gross. This poor thing, it was a mess. Let me make sure I'm not only getting one piece of pill at a time here, because this is the bigger one. Come in for the pills. I find if I hold his face up, he's less likely to spit it out, the pills. So, did you spit anything out? You can find them on his little lips sometimes. He spits them out and they come out right over here. I'll find them stuck to his face. Let me make sure I got everything. Is it good? There's also a um, liquid from the vet that is supposed to make him be more hungry, like trying to help him get his appetite back. It's good. Let me see if I got all your pills. They're brown. The one looks like it's probably chewable, but you know he won't chew it. Chewing is not in his uh, thing right now for a pill. I smelled it. I thought, man, that smells pretty good. He'll probably eat that. But as it goes, he doesn't want to eat anything. You know if he's passing up ice cream and whipped cream? Something's wrong. Usually when he hears the whipped cream can, he comes running. Like, what? are you having whipped cream without me? Yeah, I'm talking about you. And now he would come for it, but he just wouldn't. He would smell it and walk away. He looks so darn cute, bud. So I'm still trying to come up with the money for his ultrasound <clears throat> because the vet is worried that after these antibiotics, if he has a abscess in his gut, that in a few days after the medication is done, uh, you know, it, it'll just come back. 
You make sure no pills have been leaking out. So that's my worry. That's what happened. Um, he was uh, starting to do a little bit better physically, still not eating, but he was finished up his first round of antibiotics. Three days later, he crashed and almost died. So that's, that's my biggest fear right there. Is that going to happen again? And if so, I don't have... I'm done. I spent 13 or 14 and I just so happened to, I was saving up for dentures. Um, it was the only reason I had the money that I had. And, uh, but now I have nothing. I mean, when I took him to the vet the other day, when I checked out, I used eight credit cards that had little tiny balances on them. I used eight credit cards to pay for the vet. And that was the only way, you know. And so everything is now to the max. Everything that I was trying to pay off is now back to the total maxed out. So I'm, I'm really worried that if he goes down again, I'm going to have to uh, put him to sleep. And I, I really don't want to do that. He's three years old. He, I mean, he's he'll be four in July is what we figured out. You know, was that good? You did a good job. I'm not going to feed you all this because that one food um, is like for sick dogs. It said that uh, it was like a fourth of a cup is all he needed. And so we, I don't want to overdo it, make him sick. So, and now what I, what I'll do is, uh, I'll put this leftover on the floor, just hoping that he'll walk by and be like, ooh, I think I'll eat that. Plus, he has three bowls of food in different places of the house. He has one here in my bedroom, which is his main food bowl that he really only used. He has one by the door because when he first came to live with us, he would grab a mouthful of food from the room and take it outside with him and the vet told me it was because he didn't know when his next meal was coming from his old parents so I always had one by the door because I didn't want him here in the bedroom grabbing food walking around choking on it so I put one by the back door so that but he doesn't do that anymore um, he doesn't take a mouthful of food like he used to but I still have that bowl here and then I have another little one in the kitchen just in case, you know, always just like hoping that he'll be like, ooh, food. And uh, of course, I stop at Arby's. Uh, I haven't been there in about a week, but I bought, I just went in and got him some brisket that he loves. I put some of that down. But I chop it up with rice, and I feed that to him with a spoon, because that was his favorite. We would go to Arby's for dinner, and I would get him just the brisket meat for him to eat and he loved it so I'll have to stop the next time I go out because I could tell even though I had to force feed him it I could tell he was like "Ooh, baby that's good <laughs> it smelled good too but we're still trying I'm doing my best he's like I said he's um on day five of his new medicines, I think I think it is, because this is the fifth day of steroids, and uh, and then he's got five more days after that. Actually, there's six pills in there for the. He's got another steroid tonight, and then six days of steroids, of one pill a day. Right now, it's two pills a day. Then he's got an antibiotic once a day, and then the probiotics once a day. Is your nose running? You got a runny nose? Hmm? You got a runny nose? Huh? Let me see. Make sure no pills are popping out anywhere. Can I just look, please? I really wish I could brush his teeth, but I don't want to enter any extra bacteria into his system. Uh, because he doesn't need that right now, so... I don't want to brush his teeth. I even mentioned that to the vet, and she said the same thing, that 
uh, it's important, you know, to be careful adding anything extra. His gums look uh, pretty pale, but they're not red or anything around his teeth, so everything's going good, right? Are you my sweetie? Are you crying? Don't cry. I know you don't like being bundled up in there. He's like, would you set me free, please? You're my sweetheart. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, we, I'll take him. That you can see he's not breathing weird anymore. You want to try to leave on me? I might. I might try. He's not breathing weird. Which makes me really happy. That was really sad. I saw a video that my son made in the car while I was inside doing whatever I had to do with the vet. And uh, it was pretty sad. So, but he's a good dog. We love him. He had a bath. <clears throat> Sunday. No, wait a minute. What is today? Today's Monday. Saturday. Saturday he had a bath because of that food was all over his face. And I swear it looked like he pooped his face. It was terrible. So he had a bath. And it's good to keep your sick animal clean because they don't clean themselves when they're sick. So it is good. Yeah, just have to make sure that they're warm. They don't get a chill. So after the shower, I bundled them up. And uh, well, first I blow dried them pretty much. And then I put them in a... A, a soft towel and bundled him up because he would get the chills out here. We don't keep it warm in, in the house very much. I have actually been keeping my room warmer than usual for him. I hate it. I hate being so warm. But uh, definitely since he was having some trouble regulating his body heat and he was down to 97 degrees and the normal temperature for a dog is like 102 that's their normal and he was at 97 so I had to keep him warm I didn't do his temperature yet today I will uh says it's your boy. No, no, he's not here. He's on the phone. It's not working. Look at that. That's my favorite picture from a couple years ago. I don't know. It was your boy, but he's gone. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Totally, the phone call just, uh, no, he's not here, bud. Look over here. Come here. Up, push up. He's not here. He was, no, he's not here. He thinks his B-O-Y is going to be coming in the door because I said it was him. No, no. Hey, look. Hey, poops heads. Nothing. It's all over. It's done. So anyway, please, please, please pass his, uh, Go fund me. Forward it around. <clears throat> it's really important. <coughs> Sorry, bud. I got a call. It's really important that he gets that uh, ultrasound to find out if he has an abscess. He did have two x-rays, and she said it's really hard to tell stuff like that on an x-ray. We well, got burpees. Yeah. Look over here. I could put his program on TV and he'll be happy. He loves Disney. He loves Bizarre Bark. Oh, it's the puppies are on. They're on TV. 